Franz always liked this furniture because he wanted to feel at home in exhibitions and I've seen this many times and I can tell you what he always did and what surely would have done had he been here, he would have done this. This show is by Franz West, it's called Where Is My Eight? It's the first major survey show of his work after his death two years ago, and actually the first major show of Franz West's work in the UK for a very long time. I think that the easiest way to think about the work is that there are some rules about art that Franz West was really against, and they're pretty simple rules. One rule is you can't touch it, Another rule is that all art is made by a single genius type person, usually male. And the third rule is that there's one absolute meaning that when you look at a work of art, that's what you have to understand. And that if you don't know that, then you don't know anything. And Franz West worked to undo all these rules. His sculpture is not meant to be looked at in the traditional sense of sculpture, which is standing on a pedestal and you just look at it or you reflect on it. But every piece is uh, the starting point of a dialogue. And this dialogue can take place on a physical level, on a mental level. And the main thing for Franz West is something which is quite obvious to any work of art. It doesn't have existence in its own, but it always gets its meaning only out of the interaction with the individual that perceives it in some way. This, in fact, applies to any work of art, but it's the point of Franz West. For a start in the exhibition, there are lots of works you can touch. There are some works you can't touch, but there are lots of works you can touch. There are these works that bring together paintings and drawings and works by other artists into a new work, ostensibly made by Franz West. And there's also this idea that the work doesn't have a meaning apart from what you, the viewer, bring to it. I'm really excited by this gallery and by its spaces because in a way they're very pure and they let the work breathe and at the same time they have their own identity, you know, they kind of, uh, they are not the straightforward white cube which Franz West himself has always detested. One of the reasons we wanted to do this exhibition was that we saw some really interesting parallels between the work of Barbara Hepworth and the work of Franz West. The things that I find most interesting, first of all, is this idea that Franz West called himself a sculptor. And that was unusual at the time he was working because everybody was working on conceptual art. So it was all about ideas. It wasn't so much about the object. But for Franz West, who declared his allegiance to the object, who said, I am a sculptor, it was really important that he made physical things that actually existed. In the same way that Barbara Hepworth is attached to the materiality and the materials of her sculpture. Just before his death, you know, we were working on this show and unfortunately he died during the preparations. And in hospital still, he was asked, how would you like to call this show? And he said, where is my aid? And this is a question that, of course, he leaves unanswered. And this gives us many ways and many possibilities to speculate, you know. So one of the most important things about Franz West's work is that there isn't a single meaning that you have to get. In fact, the meaning of the work is 50% what Franz West made and 50% what you, the viewer, bring to it. So all you have to do is come to the gallery, spend some time with the work, maybe sit on it, look at it, have a conversation with someone, and you decide what it means. And that can change from day to day as well. You may come to the gallery one day and you feel grumpy and fed up and you spend some time with the work and you think, this isn't up to much. You may come the next day and it's a beautiful day and you come in and you see this incredible colour in one of the paintings, in one of the combination works, and you think, this is extraordinary. I see this completely differently. So everything changes constantly and everything's up to you as well.